Okay, hi Spider Tech. We are here in Kona, Hawaii, and I'm here with the fabulous Jenny Fletcher. And since she's not racing, we're just here kind of soaking up the love and spirit of Aloha. It's been an awesome week, lots of uh, exciting energy in the air. Uh, so Jenny, tell me, how are you feeling as an a, a Ironman champion, but one that's not racing here this week, um, how your experience has been? You know, every, I, this is my fourth year coming here, and every year I've come here just to spectate because I train with Siri Lindley, and half of my teammates are here racing. Leanna Cave was the Ironman, is the reigning Ironman champion, and she's one of my best friends. And um, she's here, and we're in a car fray, and Siri has five athletes: Yvonne, Amanda, and Rebecca Keat. And so I'm here supporting my team, but also um, they're like my some of my best friends, and it's. You can't explain what it feels like to be here. You, normally, we have to be racing. We want to be racing, and, and but to come here, I, I I only do the half Ironman, and I come here every year, and it gets there's just energy here that you guys have no idea. That I think anyone who comes here, they're like, I want to do an Ironman, and, and not only an Ironman, we want to do Kona. And every year I come here, it's like, okay, maybe I want to do an Ironman. And, and also, like, if I get goosebumps when I'm watching this race because I'm watching my best friends compete and win, a win or, or de defending the title, and it, it just, like, a long day becomes, I don't know how, but it feels like it goes so fast, and it's such a, it's, it's, it's seriously, it's down to sometimes the finishing line where, where we don't even know who's going to win. The last few years have been phenomenal. It's some, um, I've been off the last five months, um, with a half injury, we call it. I had a pulmonary embolism, so I. It's been hard to be here a little bit because I'm. Um, when you come here, it's the fittest place at the moment in the world, <laughs> and it's so humbling. <laughs> and, and you know, you're out on so your bike, and you're just like, I feel like, uh, like I, I, you know, I want to. You want to come here and feel good and feel fit, and um, it's very humbling. It doesn't matter how fit you are here, <laughs> you're kind of like you could, you could. It's just. It actually gives you the desire to get out and swim, bike, and run. Every day here, you can swim out to a coffee boat and have coffee, or you can get on your bike and experience going down the Queen K and experiencing the wind and the heat and the... I tried, I was doing it today, and there was moments where I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I, it's just like something that everyone should come and experience and watch, and having my friends compete is fun. Um, knowing having your sponsors here yeah and it's just um, the event itself is put on it's 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 really like there's nothing like it you can go watch an Ironman anywhere in the world and it's kind of interesting but you come here and you you I, I guarantee you'll walk away and be like okay I want to I want to be an Ironman I want I, I agree with you so much as I every year I've come here I <laughs> I get the bug yeah, and I I, want to do it. I go home and remind myself I'm a three kilometer specialist and that that's insane. So yeah, last year I remember and I, 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 I do halves but I went out and I, I biked the, almost the whole course and on the way out I'm like oh I so can do this I want to do this and on the way back 80, 90 miles by like like just you know not that much left but I was like you can and it's not so much just finishing the bike it's the fact you have to get off and run a marathon. I think that thing for me is like I, I even though I do the sport I'm sometimes like I don't know how they do it because it's it's a long day. No, it's it's complete insanity. I so you are getting back into um, some fairly structured, pretty serious training now. Um, so what spiders are you using to assist you in uh, your comeback? Um, I love the X's. I actually use the knee a lot. Um, I think when you find whether you're coming back or in the middle of training or strong. With doing endurance sports, your body is pretty unbalanced, and we have we just keep compromising, and we keep doing what we're doing, and slowly, you know, things just start breaking down. And I've heavily relied on the, the knee one. I actually, I, I, when I'm swimming a lot, I, I've, I've, there's times I've shown up, I've got the shoulder ones on, I've got some X's on my back, I've got the knee one on, and but but it works, and I don't care. I'm I, I'm addicted to the product because. Um, Living proof. The first time I tried it all, all on, I was told just try it everywhere where you have aches. And I literally, so I was like, okay, here, here, you know. And you start realizing how many places. First of all, you're aching. Yep. Yep. And I was kind of like almost head to toe taped up, and like within it wasn't even that much time, but I literally felt like a, a completely different person. 
uh, when I swim, if I have the shoulder ones on, like the movement all of a sudden, it's like it releases all this tight tightness that I had before. When I'm running, or I use the new one for biking and running, and, and I, I, it's like the pain disappears on me. So I awesome. couldn't be coming back without Spider-Tech. Thank you, Miss Jenny. <laughs> all right.